Alright, what's up guys? Lanesy here. Today, I'm going to be doing my first texture pack tutorial. A lot of you guys asked me to do this, so here you guys go. If you guys want me to make this a daily series on my channel, make sure to leave a like. There's no like on this video. Just get this video to a lot of likes and I'll keep making these type of tutorials. So today in this video, I talk about the basics of Paint.net, which is the program I use to make packs and how to get started on making packs. I also make a default 16x diamond sword. I'll show you guys how I make my default swords and how to get started. As the series goes on, I'll go more in depth about texture packs, like making other items like the pearls, the armor. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Peace. Alright, so in this video, we're pretty much going to cover the basics on how to make a simple texture pack. So first, you're going to need to download Ping.net, which is basically the application I use right here. And most other texture pack creators use it. So here's the website getpaint.net. Press download and click the download link. Once so you download paint.net, you're gonna start up on a screen like this. In Minecraft, things can be only certain sizes. So as you can see, this is 800 by 600. You're gonna go to image resize to resize it to 16 by 16 because we're gonna be working with the default for today. In Minecraft, things can only be certain sizes. So 16 by 16. 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, 256 by 256, and so on. The higher the number is, the more FPS you will lose because it is more HD. So here are your tool sets. This shows you the history of what you've done. So let's say I do that. So you'll say array selection. And then here is my toolbox where it gives you all the tools. Here's the color box, and here are the layers. You can make different layers. So let's say you accidentally delete one of these. You can just bring it back. By clicking this as you can see look so today we're going to be making a 16 by 16 x diamond sword so the first thing you want to do is make sure the background is completely transparent you want to select with this rectangle select and just drag your mouse or use the magic wand tool and just click it once go to edit erase selection and it'll erase the background and you need to have the background transparent or there's going to be random pixels on your sword Alright, so most default swords usually start off like this. You're going to make the bottom of the sword, and then you're going to make the, I don't really know what to call this. It's like the handlebar. And afterwards, you're going to want to make the handle. So, this is pretty much the basic stuff. All swords have this. It's usually just the same for default. But the handle and the blade, to the top part of the sword, like the actual diamond part, is what people make unique. So we're gonna make our handle first before we make the blade. You're gonna want to make it original as you possibly can. With smaller resolutions, it's kind of hard to make it more original because you only have like so much space to work with. But there's always ways. So let's just start going here. Alright, so we've made the basic outline for the sword. For the blade, a lot of people like it more on the short side of things. You can make it a lot longer like this, just by moving that, and then adding a couple pixels. But most people prefer it short, that's why I made it this short. Alright, so usually when I color my swords, I lay out the colors that I want to use. So we have the lightest color, the middle color, and the darkest color. Alright, so let's start laying the colors out. You're going to want to select it with the color picker tool, as you can see. And then we're going to make this faster instead of using the pencil tool we're going to use the line curve tool but then make sure you want to use anti-aliasing disabled if it's enabled this will happen where there's like small i don't know like blurred out pixels so you want to make sure this is disabled and i just start laying these out real quick by the way all the shortcuts are if you go over the tools they also have shortcuts on them so it's a lot easier oh shoot okay and by the way, press shift and then drag so you can make a straight line. It's a lot easier. So hold shift and then I'll just make a straight line. I'll make it even. So we have the sword here. You're going to want to select it all with this magic wand tool. So you can edit only this part. When we're going to go to effects. So effects is how you make the sword like more vibrant or just different. Make it look better. There are a lot of effects I use. I don't know if I'm going to go over all of them in this video, but I'll go over like the main ones I use. I use the Visionet tool. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically what it does, it makes like a certain part of the sword darker and you can like edit how dark you want it. So the density basically makes it like 
if you want it really dark, kind of dark. And the radius makes it like how big or how far you want the darkness to go. So we're gonna select this, put it so the darkness is gonna be at the bottom part of the sword. And basically just make a little bit darker on the bottom. All right, that should be good. You can barely notice it, but usually you can notice it in game. So we're gonna delete these by pressing delete on a keyboard. And we're gonna get right into the handle. Before I wanna get into the handle, I might wanna make this part of the sword actually blue. So we're gonna do that real quick. Let's go get some colors. All right, I have two different colors that I wanna use. These are like light blue and then really dark blue. So you're gonna wanna select all of these with this tool, rectangle select. So to select multiple things at once, you're gonna need to press control on your keyboard. And then you can select as many things you want and just select all these tools. Or you can use the magic wand tool to just press all these and they'll select. So we're gonna be using the gradient tool, which basically like, I don't know how to explain it. It like makes the colors more vibrant or spread out. So as you can see, it's not just these two basic colors, they're all the colors in between. So we're gonna go all the way about here. If you want it like more dark on the bottom, you're gonna have to put it like more up top here. But I want it all the way down. So we're gonna do this. Yeah, that looks fun. All right, there goes the blade. The blade is now done. Delete these and get into the handle. All right, so I'm gonna do something kind of weird with the handle colors and make it like gold-ish and try to go for a black slash gold look. So usually what I do with my handles is that's like two colors just spread them out evenly or well, usually I just do one side at a time so let's do select these and then go to this side this is a linear which basically makes it so it only goes on one side and this like splits them so let's do this let's see how that looks uh that looks pretty good actually so we're gonna select this and just pretty much put it on the other side of the blade but make sure these two sides are even like even so the sword looks better and then yeah that's pretty much it um let's add some effects onto these i think I should turn the brightness up a little bit it'll probably look a lot better mm. so the contrast basically like makes the outline of it i don't know how to explain it it makes the outline more darker while this just like turns it look really bright so i think that should be good around here yeah Okay, that looks a lot better. So we got the color of the handle now. Let's do the last two parts. All right, so for the last two parts, you're gonna wanna select a gray or maybe use the same color as this, but I like to make it darker down here. So we're gonna make it very close to black, but not exactly black. This should be good. And yeah, oh, let's go a little bit darker actually. All right, and yeah, that's good. And then let's take this and just put it over here. Yeah, the sword looks good, and this isn't the final product yet. Probably gonna work on the sword a little bit off of recording. So yeah, this is what we have done so far in like five minutes. So yeah, it's pretty easy to make 16 by 16 swords. As you go higher, it gets a lot like more difficult to make the swords from scratch. So once you finish making your diamond sword, you're gonna want to actually put it into a texture pack. So I use WinRAR for my texture packs. You guys might just have it as normal folders, but I feel like WinRAR is a lot easier, or you could use another program. So basically you're gonna open your texture pack. You might wanna start from like another pack. You guys have complete permission to use any of my packs I release as a base because I really don't care. You guys have full permission. So you wanna go into assets, Minecraft, textures, and items. This is basically where all the items are. Like as you can see, apple, apple golden, which is golden apple, bow. So you're gonna drag the sword into the file, press OK, and then put it into your resource pack folder. Open your Minecraft, and there you have your sword. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's the final product of the sword. I'll probably use it in a pack in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.